Simple Cyber Defense Security Updates for June 1st, 2020. Welcome back to the Simple Cyber Defense Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about malware that's attacking WhatsApp and other popular messaging apps. A Excel spreadsheet hack involving COVID-19 and a critical vulnerability involving Android operating systems and hacking of passwords. So let's begin. So... First start off, we will discuss the malware that is hacking WhatsApp and stealing private information from users. So what exactly is going on? So a new malware called WolfRat is targeting targeting messaging apps such as WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and Line. Right now this seems to be affecting mostly places in Thailand, but this could be a problem that could spread to other parts of the world. So it's important to understand what's going on and how to protect yourself. So the attackers are using um, a Trojan that once installed on the phone, it starts collecting data on the phone and then sends it to the attackers. So how is this happening? So the Trojan is being packaged packaged in a way that will trick the user into downloading what they think is a Google Play or Flash update. Once the Trojan is installed, the data is collected and sent to the uh, hackers. So how can you protect yourself? The first thing you can do is to ensure that you do not have Flash on your Android device. There is no reason for it. If you cannot remove the Flash from your Android device, consider updating to a newer Android device, if possible. The next thing to do is to ensure that the updates are coming directly from Google and not a third party. The way this is done is through a measure that Google has put in place that is called Google Play Protect. This will ensure that the updates are from Google and not from third parties because Google always signs their apps with specific signatures that identifies them coming from Google and not from third parties. So the best thing to do is to go into your settings and then scroll down to the bottom where it says about the phone or about tablet or about some kind of Android device and then look for Android security patch level. And then from there, it will guide you on how to update your device. And it is very critical that you do these steps, not go through some third parties, because that's how the Trojan is getting into the devices. People most likely are doing third party apps instead of doing the tried and trusted way through Google to ensure that their updates are actually coming from Google. So the next thing that is going on is Microsoft is warning to look out for this massive COVID-19 Excel phishing attack. So what is going on is emails are circulating um, to people to look like it's coming from the John Hopkins Center. Inside the Excel sheet, it's basically telling people that the attachment has all the US deaths caused by the coronavirus. After you open the Excel sheet, however, there are macros that run in the background. Macros are basically like little scripts that allows certain things to happen behind the scenes without the user's, the user's uh, knowledge or even needing them to do anything. So once the macro runs, a malware is installed that installs a remote admin tool. What this allows is the attacker to have complete control over your system. So 
what can be done to stop this? Well, the first thing that we can do is to really be careful what attachments we are opening. If you are really concerned about uh, specifics about the COVID-19 deaths, I suggest going to the CDC website directly and see what they put up as official reports. Don't use email attachments that people put through because most likely they're going to be malicious because hackers will find any way to get into your system even using pandemics like this to push through because people are afraid right now and they want to be safe and it's sad that they will go through such lengths to get into people's systems but they would All right, so the last thing we're talking about is critical threats that puts your passwords at risk for Android devices now this one was not really caused by Google Play Store breach or a malicious app that going through but however this is a little little bit complicated but every Android device running version 9 or lower now runs the risk of having their phone getting hijacked and their password stolen if your phone is running an older version this is you need to really update immediately so how is this happening this is kind of a very sophisticated attack so what what the attackers are doing is not really putting in malicious apps so so to speak so what they're doing is is once you open up a particular app basically a baking app or something they will they will um, overlay their login page that looks exactly like the banking app that you want but instead of the credentials going to the bank they go to the attacker and then after you put in your information you're sent back to the legitimate apps login page and the user will think oh I must have just typed in something wrong so let me try again so how did this bug get into the system so it was just part of some bad code that was put in place and this luckily right now it's just researchers that are doing this that but it is very important to understand what's going on and how to protect yourself again. Google says that there has been no evidence of this glitch being exploited in the wild as of yet. But this could be done. So it's important to stay on top of things. So going into settings, and then going into app updates and make sure everything is up to date through there so in this website which will be linked in the description and in the show notes will show you how to go through the updates this concludes this week's security updates just remember to stay on top of updates be very wary of what email attachments you're opening and be sure that the updates that you do are from legitimate sources. So just remember to keep educated and stay on top of things. We'll see you in the next episode. If you like what was in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing with others. For more information, to suggest a topic, or to donate, head over to simplecyberdefense.com.